So, tell me. I gotta tell you, I was surprised to hear from you. Tell me about it. I've been lying low to solve this backdoor thing, but I stuck my head out there a few times. Things are going nuts. What's happening out there? There's a maniac who's trying to take over Union. You were smart to stay in here. Otherwise, you might have ended up flayed and tortured. Sounds grim. Think I'll pass. What's worse is that the guy wants to get his hands on Lily. Well, if this plan works out, you'll be able to get her to safety once you find her. How did a guy like you end up in Mobius in the first place? A guy like me? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that you've got heart and a backbone. Seems they prefer their operatives to be either cold reptiles or unquestioning followers. You're neither. What did you think I meant? Uh, nothing. Never mind. You know, I actually searched them out to try and join. Wasn't easy either. They know how to hide their tracks. Why would you do that? They're only the most powerful organization in the history of the world, dude. Why wouldn't I? And you don't consider what they do to be criminal? Hey, it's only criminal when it's enforced. You know what they say. Quis custodiat, ipsos custodes. Right? Uh, sure. I'll... I'll take your word for it.
What can I help you with, detective? Don't you think it's time that you moved on to the task at hand? There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe... Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Let's do this before I get cold feet. abandoned spooky just got to take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on Hey! <laughs> 
This is it then. Better call Sykes. Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily, and then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. use a stem pod as an emergency exit port has been declared a failure. Despite a 25% success rate, the decision has been made to discontinue research. One in four test subjects made the trip back successfully. The other three simply ceased to be. We believe that the other 75% have been lost in an uncharted sublevel of stem. A dream within a dream, from which there is no known way to return. Due to the number of unknown factors, the experiment has been abandoned. 25% chance of success? I'm not gonna risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky.
told you to be careful with that thing, Sykes. Hope you made it out. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads? Who decided it was something anyone needed? I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for its own twisted reasons. But Mobius saw potential in the technology. Potential to enslave everybody, you mean? Better than having it in the hands of a psycho. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. No goodies for me this time, huh? What is it? You want me to follow you? What? You want me to sit in the chair? Congratulations, Sebastian. You've almost completed the inner journey that you began so long ago. You have faced down your own demons. You have risked great harm to emerge triumphant. But there is still a memory that you've refused to confront. What do you mean? Here. This will help you. Joseph, my partner, my friend. Sebastian? Calling back so soon, what's up? After all this time, there's something we've never talked about. Sounds ominous. What is it? Not what. Who? Joseph. Right. I know that you respected Joseph and that he felt the same way towards you. I never had the opportunity to make amends about that. Things were confusing after Beacon. I should have tried to get answers about what happened. I mean, I know what happened. Don't worry, I can't fault you for what you did. But I still blame myself for his death. You don't have to do that, Sebastian. Why not? You'd prefer that I blame you? You're the one who actually killed him. No, I didn't. I saw you shoot him, Kidman. I know you did, but... But what? Joseph isn't dead. What? Are you... No. It can't... What happened to him? Where is he? That's a long story. And a conversation for another time. When we're both safe. Just know that you don't have to blame yourself for his death anymore. I've gotta go, Sebastian. Let's finish this and we can talk later. Yeah. You bet we're gonna talk later.
You look like you could use some help, Detective. I know my office is relaxing, but it's no place to loiter. Hotel's clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweaks? Ready as I'll ever be. Well, here it is. What is it? 
a portable field stabilizer. O'Neill must have been working on it before Theodore changed him. It creates a small area of stabilization that should keep the fire away. How small? Its circumference is about as big as a safe house. Big enough to protect me. Good. How's it work? That's the tough part. It's a prototype, so it's a little temperamental. I have to operate it. Last thing you want is for it to go on the fritz while you're in a wall of flame. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. So is staying here if you can't get inside. Besides, I'm sick of hiding. The only way we're going to get through this is if we work together. It's the only way to save Lily. And what if you need emergency psychoanalysis? Who's going to help you then? You know just what to say to convince me, Hoffman. Of course I do. I'm the team psychologist. That you are. You might want to prepare for this. Let me know when you're ready to go. Are you ready, Sebastian? Not yet. Okay. But don't take too long. Welcome back, detective. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some...
Are you ready, Sebastian? All right, Hoffman. Let's do this. Okay. Lead the way. I'll have to carry and operate it from here. It should protect us from the fire, but it won't stop those things in there from trying to kill us. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Here goes nothing. It's working! Just make sure to stay inside the dome. Come on! I can't see anything through these flames. Just keep an eye out for those things and follow me. I know the way. Another one. Watch your back, Hoffman. That's what you're here for! Good thing. They're everywhere. to keep us out. Good. That means he's afraid. Don't stop now. We're almost there. Hold on. There's something wrong with the stabilizer. Can you fix it? I'm working on it. Watch my back. Are you regretting this yet? This is my chance to make up for what I did to Lily. And all the others I helped put in STEM. So no, I don't regret it.
I got it. We gotta go. Now. I'm sorry, Yukiko. I'll make him pay. I promise. <laughs>